Well, it's about almost dark. Been a hot day. It's 100. 100 on my porch in the shade today. But it's been 106. Who knows what the index was? But, uh, Kim just come by. It's almost dark. She waits to almost dark. So, Dad, I need you to come install a breaker for me. Okay, Kim, uh, you need it done tonight? Tonight, maybe? Yeah, Dad, it's very important. <laughs> yeah, I bet so. Probably go with something that ain't been hooked up years. But I'm going. That's what Dad's doing. Almost dark. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you. She starts something. If she starts, I'm not putting up with it. I'm not going to tolerate a daughter that will start something with me. I'm going to turn this around. I want y'all to see what she's sitting out here on her back of her truck tailgate with her legs going back and forth. Look, like she's sitting on a on a bar stool. Look at her. Yeah. That's why she says something about working in a saloon. She evidently, she knows how. Look at her. Sit up on the back of her. <laughs> I'm not going to put up with it, folks. I'm telling y'all right now. If that little camera person says something to me like, you're on camera. I'm gonna throw something at you. Wasp. Wasp! You got something for her? I got spray. She's trying to get me hurt with these wasps. See, if I, I wouldn't have seen them, and I'd have got up there and got stung. And she just said, oh, I'm so, listen to her. I'm so sorry. What? <laughs> No, you know if I'd have got stung, I'd have quit and left. All right, don't put that camera directly on me at any point. Why? You don't wear a bra, Dad. You don't ever wear a bra. Come on. Yes, I do. None of you girls wear bras. You, you your mama and Breezy, all of y'all running around. Y'all come around brawless. All right. I, I mean, you know, I'm not going to look at you. You're my daughter. Dad, it's just hard. But I don't mind brawless. And it's, <laughs> it's 8.30. It's hot outside. Let's get this done. I'll video you. What is the breaker? Right there on your truck. On your, yeah. Can you see? No, I can't see. You ain't got no lights on you. <laughs> Do you have your real phone? I'm wearing a flashlight right here. Okay. Because I say your phone has a camera on it. You hurt. Open people. No one has I'll kick you if it, if you start, start shaking. <laughs> yeah, I'll sh kick you real hard. Well, I do appreciate that much. Yeah. I got a gun. That work. <laughs> All right, turn the main off. Where's it going at? Right there, that's where you took it out at. You already got one down in there. Don't get them mixed up. It's just in my hand right here. Okay. Got some wires to go to it. Daddy, Dad, gum, you took Did them we? off. Yes. Oh, I'm not asking for smart remarks. The light is here. This is where the work is, Kim. I'm putting it there. You had it over there like you're looking for birds or something. <laughs> bird hunting. Dad. If you start talking about me, they might wonder why I come and help y'all out. Why don't you just leave him down there all crippled, not being able to work on nothing? <laughs> don't make fun of crippled people. I've told you that before. <laughs> My dad and mom taught me you never make fun of folks. What are you doing? I didn't do it. I don't know what happened. It's like we're at a... Now it went blue. It's like we're at a club, a nightclub. That's all you want to talk about. Saloons and nightclubs. <laughs> this light is purple. Hit the button on the back again. Yeah. Y'all, you want to talk about? <laughs> I'd rather work the saloon. 
Oops, there's naked. <laughs> say that. You did. I said I'd rather work in a saloon. Up, I, they'd be making me go upstairs or something. I didn't say I'd be naked. All I'm saying is you got to come down and churn butter at some point. <laughs> Please. Bree and I are gonna have a butter contest. Y'all are? Yes. Yeah, she went and bought her cream today. <laughs> I so might. I'm, I'm gonna invite you over to come. Yeah, I'll have to come watch. When we do it. All right. Let me see in here. No. Mm -mm. Leave it's it off. All right. Thank nope. you. You're not seeing my light either. I'm going to tell you right no. now. No, you got me one like that a few years ago for Christmas. You got it? Yeah. But it's in my bedside table next to my machete. Machete? <laughs> <laughs> you going to hack an intruder? Go hack him? I feel like if I stood beside the wall as he come in, he's holding the doorknob, I could just whack his whole hand Dad, off. you ever thought about just shooting him? Dad, by the time I get up and load the gun, he doesn't come in here and <laughs> half molested me. Well, he's probably watched that video and he said, well, she's an old saloon girl. <laughs> she won't mind. <laughs> she won't know the difference. Oh my gosh, Dad! Well, I'm serious, Kim. Oh, uh, listen. Well, you can't have a loaded gun and a loaded gun. No, I, well, Levi would never mess with a gun, but I wouldn't want to have one loaded. I'll sleep one in my pillow. Not really. Not. <laughs> but I got one I get too quick. I'm not going to have a machete in the house. Your mom would get it. <laughs> Some night she get angry. She come running there with that machete. It'd be on. Where are you going now? I got this stuff right here. What's that for? This is a toilet flange. Uh, a spacer. So the toilet is still hooked up. Yeah. Okay. Mom says, "Can you go down and help her get her old toilet out? She's gonna put a new toilet in." I said, "Yeah, I will." Well. This is what I wanted. I wanted to make sure it could be fixed if or it, not. If it was a toilet or if it's the drain, something yeah, in the right, drain. I got you. So uh, Ted said that he's coming to your house tomorrow to work. Yeah. And he said he would drop off his little nephew with a snake and, sna <laughs> and snake the toilet. Go snake it. Well, whatever. Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, some things. Yeah, and yeah. he said, and I said, well, this is the thing. If the toilet is still good, then I don't want it. I'll just keep it. But I've already bought a new one for this room, and I'm going to do a remodel in here. So it's going to come out. Yeah, okay. But he's going to make sure, because if it's not any good, if he says, no, it must be the toilet because you have no problems in your lines, then I can just, I can trash it. But there's no need to trash Toilets aren't that expensive, but they're not cheap either. The cheapest mm. one's 99 bucks, and if you pay 99 bucks, you get 99 I bucks. saved my old one. I'll never use it, probably, but it was good. It was just too short for mine. Yeah, I got a, a chair hike one, too. Yeah, new, that's the, good, yeah. New one. All right, baby girl. All right, thanks, Dad. Also, I don't know if me and you and maybe Daniel can do it, but... I pulled that pipe back over there, that wire back by the camper over there, by the fifth wheel on the other side of you. Yeah. So I could put a water hose up in case I'm without a toilet for a day or two, we can use the camper. But I hadn't had no water hooked up to it, so I put a new water hose over to it. The floor is falling. Not out of the camper, but out of the addition we built in the bathroom. Oh, wow. That's what you, that's what you see. It's the bathroom this side that's the bathroom well i can't i can't see okay, it well you see the open part yeah i know when you go under there when you get up to the wall of the addition that's the bathroom and it's going like this and coming back up so evidently during harvey or something something fell and we've never fixed it okay and it's smashing one of the drain pipes now oh okay okay so i don't know if i need to ask him to do it or see if daniel well can I, i'm not gonna be able to get on my hands and knees over there i can tell you that this this old camper here Kim got, and she may have told y'all stories on it, but anyway, 
And uh, she got it for his storms and stuff like that. In case she loses power in her big house, she can run this real easy off the generator. And uh, this canoe here is for her escape. No, it's not. <laughs> it's bad. Well, what's a canoe there for? Darkest left it when after Harvey. Oh, okay. Her renter left it here, so she'll still use it for her escape. I, me and Daniel cannot do canoes. <laughs> we found that out. Well, well I can't do canoes. canoes either, Kim. They always blame me for getting sunk, but it's always their fault. Over, if I Daniel fl flipped in. over, it's because his old big butt sitting in there, and he, he gets top in. Okay, but let me tell you something. He managed to get back in, and I had to float along beside him. I did the same thing when Harvey come, and, and him and Jake come down to get me. I right. stayed at the house. And there's nothing else I could do. I'd moved everything I could move up, you know, and the house is flooded. I'm just wading around there, waist deep of water. Right, because me and Daniel came first, and you didn't want to leave. You I was fine. still putting stuff up. Maybe I was moving stuff up. Then Mama sent Daniel and I guess Jake back down. Yeah, they come down and, but they, you know what? They didn't come to check on me. They come check on his old boat. They went straight to the barn. They come straight for me. They went straight to the barn and check on his boat. Then they come over with a canoe to the, my house, and I put Heidi in the boat. With a life jacket on her. With a life jacket on her. My dogs can't dog and, paddle. And I walked along beside the boat till we got that deep part. Then I just kind of swum along holding on to the boat. Well, that's basically what I did when we fell out because I couldn't get back in. He yeah. got back in. I couldn't get back in. And it was pushing me up against that fence of Lester's. And at the time, it was just barbed wire. And it was... I was, eating you up, yeah. Well, I was, it never, actually, praise God, I never got cut up. But I was running along beside it. I don't know how God just protected me from that wire. Because I was just rubbing it as I went down. And it was, well, he may have had goat wire up, but he didn't have cow panels and all that like it is now. Yeah, and there was my yeah. yeah. wire running it around cow panels, you just walk along, climb yeah, up on the walk. Could climb, yeah, I could stand on them. Yeah. Yeah, this, I, I, I don't know if I've ever said how, how handy this has come in, but I got it in early 2000 when yeah. it was left at my mall's. Got it for four hundred dollars. Couldn't even walk in it. You used it several times. Yeah. Well, we used it first after the fire. Yeah. That's when you and Larry and Bill, Bill built the built front, that little porch front stuff on it. Yeah. And then after I, but even before that, when it was still Look, the looking camper, back, looking back, you know, I've been good to you, and I get abused. Okay. Well, I remember, and I have picture proof. Picture. Yeah. Of, what? of tree trimming and you were a foreman I guess because you weren't doing any work I was in charge and we're out over there in that driveway let's been trimming trees off your driveway for some reason Larry's on the tractor Bill's in the tractor and you go over and lay under them trees like they dropped the tree on top of you it was for insurance purposes <laughs> <laughs> no you weren't working I know you were playing I was playing yeah, Bill cut that tree down and cars was passing, just left it right. And I'm laying up, I crawl up underneath it and lay like like it fell on me. Yeah, your leg all up. Yeah, we had three or four people stop trying to drag me out. <laughs> Larry said, I'm a preacher. I'm going to take him and pray over him right now. He's okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, baby, I'm going to get home. I got to get Don't out of here. Don't go that way. That fell. That hook broke. And I gotta... I'm not. Uh, you know, hook broke here. Board fell here. That's just the plug. pipe bent here. That's just the breaker. Plug. Breaker <laughs> needs installing here. Toilet don't work here. And you got good knees. Dad. I had good knees. Boy, I, I, I'm getting I older, Dad. And I remember when I got Nanny's house during the summer when I wasn't work, driving a bus, I would be working in a room. The boys would already be asleep. I'd have the radio or the TV on, and I'd be put mud in the wall and a fan blowing on it to dry. And as soon as it dried, I'd paint it, then come over here and start mudding this wall. And before I realized it, it'd be 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say something about that. You moved into Nanny's house, and the old kitchen was where it was at. And about uh, two weeks, we come down to do something, and the kitchen had been moved to another room. <laughs> well, after a while, it got moved again to another wall. It just moved around. The kitchen moved. You never knew where to go to the coffee pot at. What room's it in? We had, third, back then, we had Thursday night movies. Don't yeah. you remember? And yeah. I cooked dinner. 
I mean, it did happen that a couple of times y'all came and I'd moved the kitchen. <laughs> I could do that. So under the house, bringing pipes in. I know. Maybe my, I burnt my, myself out. My friend wanted to marry you and you wouldn't. I don't, what friend? Yeah, you know, I ain't gonna mention no name. You know, he used to come over and he loved you. <laughs> and cause he saw what a good worker you was. You would have been a great wife. I know who you're talking about. He has a wife. Well, now he didn't have one then. We wouldn't all. Well, his in between three. wives then. <laughs> He's probably heard about that saloon too. That one wife tried to starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was. She had him on a strict diet that first. First. I don't remember that. Are we talking about the same person? Probably Starts not. With a D? Oh no! Oh no! Well, who are you talking about? You know what to tell me in a minute. Oh, yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah, he was. A he guy. really is a good guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's married now. He, you lost him. <laughs> well, if I married him, I might not live in Plum Grove. I'd well, be yeah. taking care of chickens up north. That's true. I'm glad you stayed. I'm glad you didn't go. Bye, baby. Bye, baby. Oh, what's would be worse? You and that saloon up there, huh? Raising chickens. I told y'all she starts. If she starts over there, I'm out of here. I'm out of here right now. It's dark. Look here, it's dark, folks. I'm out here working in a flashlight. All right, y'all have seen enough of this stuff. I'm going to look at that moon yonder. That moon coming up. I love you guys. Y'all take care.